Croissor power up to the Essential Picks PSN sale. This is a huge sale and it took a while for me to go through, but again I found some really cool games for you to check out, and you can save a load of money on them as well. So if you like saving a lot of money and finding some cool games to play, then subscribe and you'll never miss out on a good deal again. You're welcome here anytime. Okay, this sale ends on the 27th of March, so that'll be your last day to pick up these deals. Let's look at the games. First up, we have 1111 Memories Retold. It was released in 2018, so it's 6 years old, and it's on an 85% discount for the low price of £2.99, which is a pretty good deal for a unique little game. In this story-driven adventure, it tells the story of two soldiers, each on either side of the World War I front lines, and is brought to life through a unique oil painting art style. It features the voice acting of Elijah Wood and Sebastian Koch, with an orchestral soundtrack by Olivia de Rivier. There's not a huge amount of gameplay to this game, but hey, if you're a big fan of stories, or you like really weird unique games that have unique art styles, this might be an intriguing little game for you. It's definitely not for everyone, but if you like quirky little games or something a bit different, then you might want to check this out. It may be the coolest game you've played in ages. And hey, if you've never played a story-driven adventure before, then I'm not sure I'd recommend starting here. It looks pretty good and it's different and unique, but the more mainstream ones and AAA ones you can get for around the same price as well when they're on sale. So if you're not into the look of this one, then you might want to start with one of them instead. The choice is yours, but if that's the case, subscribe, and then you won't miss them when they come on sale next. We have an RPG next, Excel World vs Sword Art Online. It was released in 2017, so it's 7 years old, and it's on an 85% discount for a low price of £6.74, which isn't a bad deal, especially for an anime based game with a franchise attached to it. They're usually pretty expensive in general. In this action RPG, the worlds of Sword Art Online and Excel World have merged, and Yui from Sword Art has vanished. Now you must challenge the Seven Kings of Pure Colour from Excel World to find her. It features characters from both series, and flying abilities for your characters as well, for a bit of variety in the gameplay. Now it's no secret that there's a ton of RPGs, and especially anime and Japanese ones. I mean it's kind of their speciality, right? So if you're not into Excel World or Sword Art Online, then you probably don't want to play this game. But if you are, definitely take a look at it. There's a lot of games in this series, but this is a pretty good deal. Why not take a look if you like the look of it? And hey, if you've never played an action RPG before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here, because you can get a much bigger AAA legendary gaming series for about this price when they're on sale, so you're much better off starting with them instead. But don't worry, I'll let you know when they're on sale next. Our next game is Asterix and Obelix XXL3, The Crystal Men here. It was released in 2019, so it's 5 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the price of £3.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a pretty good deal for a game with a franchise as famous as this. In this beat em up, after receiving a mysterious letter, Asterix and Obelisk unearthed a men here crystal and embark on an exciting adventure across the Roman Empire to unravel the secrets and incredible powers of the crystal. It features local two player co op, but no online unfortunately. Now I'm a huge fan of the Asterix comics, and if you're not from the EU, then you probably never heard of them. They're from France and they're pretty huge. They've even got like a Disneyland sort of theme park there that's based on the series. They were really funny comics, and I loved them as a kid. And to be fair, they've had some pretty good games based on them over the years, including this series. If you're a fan of beat em ups or just action games in general, then you might want to check this out. Especially if you like playing games with a kid or a friend, then there's a lot to enjoy in this series. So if you like the sound of that, why not take a look? You may even find out you love Asterix. Who knows? And hey, if you've never played a beat em up before, then this is a good place to start. It's a good franchise with good quality gameplay from a series that's been around a while, so you know they're good. And it's at a really good deal as well. So if you like this sort of gameplay series, definitely check it out. It's well worth your money. We have a VR game next, Creed Rise to Glory. It was released in 2018, so it's 6 years old, and it's on an 85% discount for the low price of £2.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a fantastic deal for a VR game with a franchise of this quality. Now keep in mind there is a PS4 and PS5 version of this game, which means if you've got a PSVR 1, you want the 4 version, and if you've got a PSVR 2, you want the PS5 version. The PS5 version's not on sale anywhere near this low, and there is an upgrade deal, but it's pretty pricey. Now, in general, people say there's not much difference between the two versions, so if you've got both, or you've only got a PSVR one, then this is a good version to look at. But just keep in mind the PS5 one's basically a separate game. And this version includes the movie DLC characters of classic Rocky Balboa, Apollo Creed, Club Lang, and Ivan Drago as well. So you're getting the complete movie series experience, not just the Creed movie, which is really great. 
and this game requires move controllers so if you don't have them you can't play it which is great because you wouldn't want to play a boxing game without move controller support in this VR boxing game you get to experience the best boxing on PSVR. You play as Creed, following the story of the first movie as you train and fight under Rocky Balboa to establish your legacy. It features the career, training mode, exhibition fights and online PvP as well, although who knows how busy that is these days. Now I absolutely love this game, it's one of the best games in PSVR 1's catalogue and I absolutely love it. If you're a fan of Rocky you will adore this game. The story is really good and the other modes are really good as well. There's a gym mode where you can train and just do the different boxing exercises and it really does give you a workout. If you play 20 to 40 minutes of this you'll be dripping in sweat and you'll be absolutely dead. It's a really good workout, it's a really great franchise, it's so much fun. Like I said, it's one of the best games on PSVR 1, and I absolutely love it. If you're a fan of Rocky or you like boxing or fitness games, definitely check this out. It's a lot of fun. And hey, if you've never played a VR boxing game before, then this is the best one I've ever played. So if you like the look of it, and you don't hate Rocky, I'm sure you'll have a great time with it. Why not take a look? Up next is my star by Dead Island Definitive Collection. It was released in 2016, so it was 8 years old. But the original games are older than that really, and is on a 90% discount for the low price of £1.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, especially for two AAA games, you can't go far wrong really, as this edition includes Dead Island 1 and 2, both remastered, with all of the DLC included, and you even get the Retro Revenge spin-off game, which isn't a full game, but who cares, is free. In these first person shooters, you wake up on an island resort in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, and now you must team up with other survivors in order to gather resources and work together to survive and escape the island. It features crafting and 4 player online co-op as well, and the games are based around online multiplayer, so they're really good to play with a group of friends, and at this price you can all afford to buy it, which is really good, as you can play the entire games fully in multiplayer. I've played most of the first game, and I gotta be fair, they're pretty good games. They may not be the most original games around, but hey, making weapons, combining stuff into custom weapons is really fun. And especially if you've got a group of friends to play with, then you'll have a lot of fun with this game. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely take a look. It's a great game for friends. Like I said, it's my star buy. It's well worth your time and money, so why not check it out? And hey, if you've never played a first person shooter before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here unless you're looking for a game to play with friends, because you can get other games with better stories at around the same price, so you might want to start off with them instead. But hey, if you've got a group of friends to play with, this is a great series for that, and it's really cheap, so definitely go for it if that's you. We have a racing game next, Hot Wheels Unleashed Game of the Year Edition. It was released in 2022, so it's two years old, and it's on an 85% discount for the price of £10.49, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a pretty good deal compared to the full price of this game. Now, just keep in mind the PS4 and PS5 versions are separate, and you can upgrade them, so if you want the PS5 version, make sure you're picking up the right one, and not the PS4 one. And this edition includes three DLCs, and the three expansions of Batman, Looney Tunes, and Monster Trucks, including 49 cars, 3 environments, 12 customization packs, and 12 track modules. And the DLC includes Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Street Fighter, Superman, Barbie, Looney Tunes, He-Man, Scooby-Doo, The Jetsons, and Swamp Thing. So you're getting a huge amount of different franchises included in this game, which is really great. In this racer you get to collect the best cars from the Hot Wheels universe, building your own racing tracks to share online, with loops and hazards you'll have more than gravity to worry about, and it features 2 player local split screen, and 12 player online multiplayer as well. Now this game just looks really fun, if you're looking for a not simulation style racing game, and you like a load of old franchises, especially 90s based cartoons and that sort of thing, you'll absolutely love this game. It's got a lot of fun cars, and it's really a big game for little kids at heart, and especially with the local and online multiplayer, it's a great game to play with a kid, or a friend. So if you like the look of it, or you're just a massive Hot Wheels fan, then why not take a look? It's a fun little racing game, and you get a lot for your money as well, why not take a look? And hey, if you've never played a racing game before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here. You can get a much bigger AAA legendary racing game series for less money than this, so you're much better off starting there if you're not a Hot Wheels fan. So if that's the case, subscribe, and then I'll let you know when they're on sale next. We have a bike racer next, MotoGP 22, PS4 and PS5. It was released in 2022, obviously, so it's two years old, and is on an 85% discount for the price of £6.74, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a pretty good deal for a good quality game like this. 
We get to play the entire 2022 season with more than 120 riders, over 20 official circuits and over 70 historical champions to relive the history of the MotoGP with. So if you're a big fan of racing games, and bike racing especially, then you'll probably really enjoy this game. It may not be the newest edition of it, but if that doesn't bother you, you get a lot for your money. And especially with the historic champions, you get some really cool stuff as well that's timeless. So if you like racing games or bike racing games, why not take a look at this? It's a really good game at a really good price. So check it out. And hey, if you've never played a racing game before, then I'm not sure I'd recommend starting here. You can get other ones cheaper, that's for sure. And if you're not a big bike fan, then you're probably better off starting with one of them instead. So don't worry, I'll let you know when there's some other options on sale. Up next is Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 Slime Speedway Turbo Edition. It was released in 2024, so it's brand new, and it's on an 80% discount for the low price of £9.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good price for such a new game. And this edition includes both the PS4 and PS5 versions, which is great, and it includes five additional racers of Zuko and Ozai from Avatar, Eastman, Laird Raphael, and Shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, plus the Slime Cards parts, and the Kids' Choice Awards paint jobs as well. So you get a fair bit of content in this edition, which is really great. This car racer was rebuilt from the ground up, bigger and better than ever, with over 40 iconic racers, 36 tracks, voice acting for the first time, transforming carts, different racing terrains, kart customization, 90 crew members, 4 player local and 12 player online multiplayer, which is really great. You gain a ton of features and modes with this game. Now if you don't own a Nintendo console then Mario Kart's not an option, so there's not a lot of choice outside of that, and this Nickelodeon series has been around a while, and they seem pretty well liked, and they look pretty good to be fair. So if you're looking for a kart racer along those sorts of lines, this one's a lot like the Sonic one as well with the transforming carts and that. They're clearly blending both games and trying to make a really good competitive fun game, which is great. And it's got a ton of really good characters as well. If you were a kid in the 90s, you'll love it. It's got Hey Arnold, Turtles, Garfield, Rugrats, Avatar, all sorts of fun characters. It looks like a really cool game and I gotta be fair, I'm pretty tempted myself. So I'll probably pick one of these up at some point. Anyway, if you're looking for a kart racer, definitely check this one out. It looks like a high quality one and a really good deal. And hey, if you've never played a kart racer before, then you could start here, but you can get other ones from this series that are cheaper on sale, or even other franchises as well. So you're much better off starting with them if you're not too bothered which edition you want to get. So if that's the case, don't worry, subscribe, and you won't miss them when they're on sale next. We have a puzzle game next. Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, PS4 and PS5. It was released in 2020, so it's 4 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £6.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a pretty good deal for such a cool looking game. In this game you get to play Puyo Puyo, or Tetris, or a mix of both. In this crossover game that features a story mode, character based skill battle system, multiple game modes, challenge modes, 4 player local, and online multiplayer as well. So it looks like a really cool game if you're a fan of puzzle games in general, or if you're a fan of Puyo Puyo or Tetris. And especially with the multiplayer modes and the story, you get a lot for your money. You don't normally get a story mode in these sorts of games, so it's really cool and I think it'll be different and make it a lot more fun to play. And especially if you've got friends to play with, or you like games for parties and that sort of thing, this will be a really fun game for that. So if you like the sound of this, why not check it out? It looks like a lot of fun. And hey, if you've never played a puzzle game before, then I'm not sure I'd recommend starting here. You can get the older ones cheaper, and you can also get much more complicated and AAA puzzle games with stories and stuff for around the same price or lower as well. So you've got a ton of options in this genre, and you're probably better off starting with one of the other options instead. So take a look around, or subscribe, and then you won't miss them when they're on sale next. We have an action platformer next. Rayman Legends. It was released in 2014, so it's 10 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the low price of £3.19, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal for a game from this series. In this game, after a 100 year nap, the Glade of Dreams has been overrun with terrifying monsters, and as Rayman you gather your friends to help fight the monsters to save the teen seas. It features local 4 player co-op, but no online multiplayer, which is a bit of a shame because it looks like a really good party game, and at the time it kinda ripped off the Super Mario game that came out for Switch, which was multiplayer focused as well. So if you're looking for a local game that you can play with a few friends, or kids, or a partner, 
then look no further than this. It's a great party game and a lot of fun with friends. It's just a shame it doesn't have online co-op. So if that puts you off, then don't get it. But otherwise, it's a really great game from a great franchise and it's a lot of fun to play with friends. So if you like the sound of that, definitely take a look at it. It's a really cool game. And hey, if you've never played an action platformer before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here unless you're looking for a game to play with friends. If you are, then definitely take a look at it. But if not, you've got plenty of other options, and you can pick up more AAA ones as well for around the same price. So you've got plenty to choose from. But don't worry, I'll let you know when they're on sale, so you won't miss out. Up next we have Sniper Elite V2 Remastered. It was released in 2019, so it's 5 years old, but the original game is older than that really. And it's on a 95% discount for the low price of £1.49, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a fantastic deal. I even picked it up myself, as this remaster includes all of the DLC, 4K graphics, and HDR support as well, so it's a really good version of the game, with a load of improvements made, which is awesome. In this third person action game, it's set during World War II, where you play a sniper parachuting into Berlin during Germany's last stand, trying to prevent their V2 rocket technology from falling into the wrong hands. It features a photo mode, online multiplayer, and new playable characters as well. Now this series is a really good series, a lot of people love them, and they've got really good reviews. And to be honest, you don't have many sniper games around, so there's not a lot of competition, and this is probably the biggest and best series around for that sort of gameplay. Now the first game was on PS2, and that was never re-released, although I get the feeling this is kind of like a reimagining of the first game because it's set in the same time period, with a slightly different story. But anyway, if you like the look of this series and you want to get in early, then this is the earliest game you can play on this platform. I've picked it up myself, because I've picked up the other ones in sales as well, and they're just really good games for a really good price. So if you're looking for a cool World War II action game, with a pretty good story and some sniping, then why not take a look at this? It's a really good game, especially at this price. You can't go far wrong. And hey, if you've never played a third person action game before, then why not start here? It's a really good game from a really good franchise, and at this price, you can't get much better. It's a really good quality game for a rock bottom price. Definitely take a look at it. You may just find your new favourite game series. We have a VR game next, Sniper Elite VR. It was released in 2021, so it's only 3 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the low price of £4.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a fantastic price for such a high quality VR game. Now move controllers are optional for this, although I'd much rather play them with it, although it also supports aim controller, which is amazing. I love that controller, it's the best VR controller ever made, and I bet this game's amazing to play with it. I'd recommend using that if you've got one, it'll be a lot of fun. In this first person shooter, you get to fight against the invading Axis in southern Italy 1943, using stealth and authentic weaponry in the Italian resistance. It features an exclusive campaign with 18 missions, free movement, x-ray kill cam, and realistic ballistic physics as well. So in short, you're getting a fully playable, proper full game in VR, which is rare. Not all games are a proper full game, and this is one of them. And on top of that, it's from a really good series, with really good pedigree, and a lot of good gameplay experience. So in all, it's a really good game. If you're looking for a VR first person shooter, this is a really good game. Especially if you're looking for something with sniping, you can't do better than this at this moment. I'm really tempted to pick it up myself. I'm definitely going to pick it up at some point. Highly recommend it. If you've got a PSVR one, and especially a name controller, then definitely take a look at this game. You won't regret it, I promise. And hey, if you've never played a VR FPS before, then definitely take a look at this game. It's from an amazing series, it's got some really good mechanics, and it's a fully playable game with a load of support for different controllers and stuff. You can't ask for much more, Rini. It's one of the best VR games around in this genre, so definitely take a look if you're interested. Next up, we have The Beast Inside. It was released in 2022, so it's two years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £3.99, or £2.99 with PS Plus, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal for such a good quality game. Now, keep in mind the PS4 and PS5 versions are separate, and there's no upgrade, so make sure you pick up the correct version, or you'll be stuck with the one you don't want. In this survival horror, a CIA cryptanalyst moves to the countryside with his wife, where he soon finds the hidden diary of Nicholas Hyde, and now the nightmares of the past attack the present, as you get to play both characters across time in a unique horror thriller. 
Now I hadn't heard much about this game and I wasn't that interested in it. But when I looked into it, like I do with most games that are on a good deal, it actually looks really good. The reviews are really good, everybody seems to love it. And I really like the idea of you playing in different times with the past and the present and the stories intermingling and affecting each other. The CIA story and the past story getting all muddled up and affecting each other. As far as survival horrors go, it looks like it's got a really cool story and I really like the look of it. And like I said, the people that play it seem to love it. So if you're a fan of horror or survival horror specifically, then definitely take a look at this. You may find your new favourite game. It looks really good. And hey, if you've never played a survival horror before, then I would recommend starting here. It looks like a really good and unique one and it's at a really good price as well. You can't go far wrong really. You can get other AAA ones from Legendary Series at around the same price when they're on sale. But hey, this still looks like a really good game, so if you're interested, definitely take a look. But if not, you do have other options as well. But don't worry, I'll let you know when they're on sale, so you won't miss out. We have a management game next, Two Point Hospital Jumbo Edition. It was released in 2021, so it's three years old, and it's on an 85% discount for the price of £5.24, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and a really good deal for such a cool looking game, as this edition includes two full DLC expansions and two item packs as well, so you're getting the complete version of the game, which is great. In this sim management, you get to construct and manage a variety of hospitals to cure a host of crazy and fun illnesses in the local population. It features over 27 hospitals and scenarios to manage, with over 189 illnesses to cure, a sandbox mode, and hospital decoration as well, so you can really make them your own. Now, for anyone old enough to remember the theme hospital game, this is basically that, but a modern rip-off, with a load of cool stuff added. And yes, that's as awesome as it sounds. I love Theme Hospital. You can still pick it up cheap on GOG and stuff, and it's still fun to play to this day. But hey, if you're looking for a modern game, or you're just a fan of sim management and you want something a bit different, I literally don't think there's any other sim management for hospitals other than this game, and it's got really good reviews, and it's ripped off the most historical and best game of this series genre ever. So you can't ask for much more really. If you like sim games or you're a fan of Theme Hospital, definitely check this out. It's a really good game and I know you'll really enjoy yourself if you like this sort of game. And hey, if you've never played a sim management game before, then you could start here. You can get other ones cheaper, but this looks like a really good quality one with a load of content included and it's a really unique theme as well. Pretty much the only reason I wouldn't recommend it is if you're not a fan of the hospital theme. But hey, once you play it, trust me, you'll enjoy it and you'll have a great time. If you like this genre or you want to try getting into this genre, definitely take a look at it. It's different, quirky and a lot of fun. And the final game I have for you is Valley. It was released in 2016 so it's 8 years old and it's on an 85% discount for the price of £1.79 which is a fantastic deal for such a cool and interesting little game. In this adventure, hidden deep within the Rocky Mountains, you find the Leaf Suit that allows you to run and jump fast distances and you must use this suit along with new abilities to command life and death to explore the valley and uncover its mysteries. Now I like the look of this game I picked it up a while back and I haven't got around to playing it yet but I really like the idea of a puzzle adventure game that's based around environmental puzzles where you have to use the suit to run, jump and just solve stuff. It looks really cool, the story's pretty interesting and it's a unique ability where you get to literally command life and death by restoring life to dead animals and environments, or take it as well. It's really different and interesting, and they've clearly taken some inspiration from the Fallout series if you watch the trailer, which is a good thing. All in all, it looks like a really cool little game, so if you like puzzle adventure games, then why not take a look at this? I think you'll have a lot of fun if you like this genre as much as I do. And hey, if you've never played an adventure game before, then I would recommend starting here. It looks pretty different and unique, and it's at a really good price as well. So you can't go far wrong, really. If you like the look of it, definitely take a look. And that's all of the games I have for the Essential Picks PSN sale. What did you think of the games I picked? Did I pick good ones or did I pick bad ones? And what about the Star Buy? Did it deserve it? Or should some other game have got it instead? Leave any comments you have down below, and we can talk about it later. Anyway, I hope you guys found some games you're interested in, but more importantly, I hope you saved a lot of money. I'll see you guys in the next sale. Au revoir.